Saturday or will be on for a game or a lone senior who will exhaust his eligibility on Saturday or at least regular season games Saturday. <laughs> um, Bob, go ahead and get started, please. Okay, come on. I didn't know it was just going to be you, but I, I guess those other guys have decisions to make. Just uh, how do you feel about being the, 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 the lone senior, being on her on senior day? Yeah, it's a crazy feeling. I mean, I know I said I was old, but it's, it's definitely setting in right now. So, uh, I mean, uh, being a senior, you know, uh, the two and a half years I spent here, it's been a great run. Had some great moments here and built some relationships that I look at as family members here. So, um, Saturday is going to be really, really fun just tying it all in in the one night, and uh, I can't wait for it. And then um, I, I don't think you played in the game at Lexington. I know there have been games, you know, sometimes guys don't play. Sometimes you play real big roles like you did against San Diego State. But yeah. um, what, do you, what do you remember about the way you guys, you know, kept Sh uh, Shibway under control and uh, without giving away secrets, that kind of was what, what, yeah. what's the plan for Saturday? Or do you think it's realistic to duplicate? I think you guys held them to seven points and seven boards, but about well, well under his averages. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was not really no secrets. It's just the twins. I mean, they did a great job on them. Uh, they're big, physical. So I think they just match up really, really well with them. So uh, I, I have confidence that they're going to duplicate it Saturday. And then I know that was a rough uh, rough uh, road trip to Knoxville, kind of. What, what's the team's mindset? Um, how, how do you feel like you guys will bounce back? Obviously, Kentucky's really good, too. Yeah, I mean, you, with one of those games, you just got to forget about it. So it's in the past. We're not going to uh, harper on it. It's kind of, you know, it's done with. It's been addressed. It's done with. And uh, we move on. Yeah, I might have a couple more uh, for old time's sake, but I'll, I'll turn it back. <laughs> for sure. Touch. Yeah, Kamaya, I guess you missed a couple of games with a, a toe injury or something. Could you fill us in on how that happened? And uh, I guess are you back to – I mean, you played the other night, so I guess you're back to full strength. Yeah, I uh, fractured a little part of my foot versus South Carolina, but um, I kind of, you know, you know me, I'm going to play through it. So <laughs> I'm out there. Scotty? Yeah, come on, after a couple of tough losses in a row, has there been anyone who's maybe been vocal for you guys lately or maybe taken a, a leadership stance? Has that maybe been you or, or has anybody spoken up? Yeah, I mean, I think it's everybody. I mean, I don't think, you know, Nobody in this locker room wants to lose. Um, so everybody's kind of been vocal, talking to each other. Uh, the staff has been really vocal about it. I mean, I promise you, our, our film session was was very long yesterday. Um, so um, as a team, we took accountability for it. And, uh, you know, it's March now, so you can't really harp on things like that. It's kind of, you know, we got to win and move on. How, about how long was that film session? Was it going over Tennessee or is it kind of getting ready again for Kentucky? Uh, it was Tennessee, but also getting ready for Kentucky. But it was long, like really, 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 really long. <laughs> Last thing, um, I guess what gives you confidence that this team can take care of business Saturday and then become a tough out in the postseason? Um, I mean, this uh, team has proved to play its best basketball when it's big stages and, and uh, you know, stuff like that. I mean, I think, the way we performed in Maui uh, was pretty good. Um, games like Oklahoma really, you know, when I look at it overall, the season and the body of work, I think uh, this team kind of performed really well on big stages. I mean, we had Bama both times and just kind of let them drop, but I think we should have won both of those games. Uh, but in March, you know, March is neutral site, uh, big stage, and with the guys on our team individually, I know how they are. And I think uh, we'll play our best basketball in March. Curtis? You, you've kind of been touching on, on the March theme here. And obviously, you've been a part of, of a couple of nice runs with the program during this month. Uh, just just curious to you, like what I mean, what is different about this month? What what changes? And then what do you think this group needs to do to kind of have a chance at some similar success? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> You're not going to like this at all, what I'm about to say. But March is kind of like nut dropping time. You know what I mean? It's where the men come to play basketball. <laughs> AB is crazy. Uh, where the men come to play basketball. And, uh, you know, that's kind of all what it's about. Um, so I think, you know, we're, you, you kind of get battle tested in March. That's like, you know, why upsets happen. Like nobody really cares about what you did all year. It's kind of you roll the basketball out there and you see who's the best team. So um, I think that's kind of why we've had success in March, because we ended out 
figuring out a way to win. I mean, I know we have one of the best staffs in the nation, if not the best staff in the nation for things like March. So um, down here, I mean, we've, we've been having success. So, you know, we're going to roll the dice and see how it goes. Bob, for old time's sake, one more. Yeah. Oh, okay. It better be a good one, Bob. Don't give me nothing crazy. What's up? Well, I don't know if Anthony's sitting right there next to you, but just wondering <laughs> what, what you've thought of Anthony's freshman year. I know the last two games have been a little uncharacteristic with the turnovers, but his looking at his season as a whole, all the stuff he does for y'all, what, what have you thought about his season? Man, he's he's uh, he's been amazing this season. I mean, even, you know, with stuff like Maui and, and how he played in Maui and how he's – um. You know, we've we've had injuries this year and just how he's handled that and stepped up to the plate. Um, you know, when when a kid's that young, you kind of worry, you know what I mean? But with him, I think he's answered all the questions, all the big tests that he's uh, been, you know, all the challenges thrown at him. He, he stepped up to the uh, plate and, and knocked it out of the park. So, um, you know, he had games where he struggled, but he's super on, him, on himself about that. And um, I think that's the biggest thing with me, how a player takes it you know, the uh, lows and whenever he struggles, he holds himself to the highest standard. Like I have to kind of um, tell him like, dude, you can't have a good game every game. You know what I mean? But uh, he, he don't be trying to hear that. So uh, whatever team gets Anthony Black is getting a dog for sure. That's my guy right there. You know, he fills up the box score in so many stats. Is there yeah, one aspect so of his game off. that, that – is there some aspect of his game that stands out more to you? Yeah, I mean, he's such like a playmaker. Um, but I think like, you know, in college, the floor is in his space. But I told him like in the NBA, man, like you, you're going to turn into a scorer because I don't think it's been highlighted how good of a scorer he is. Okay, th thanks, man. Good luck. Have, have fun on Saturday. I right, appreciate y'all.